Hello. Hello, friends. Hi, Kenji. Hey, John. Hello. Hi. I'm slowly having people trickle in, and I'm also adjusting to see if you guys can see me properly. Let's see. No. Oh, hi, hi, puppy. Okay. Can you see me in the view right now? Let's see. I think you can see the mat clearly. Yeah, you can see the mat. Cool. How are you guys doing? Doing well. How are you? Really good. I'm excited for this flow. It's really good for opening up the hips. Oh, wonderful. Yes, I'm excited. A little bit of inversion play time will be oh. really nice. Yes. <laughs> Super excited. Uh, waiting for all the peeps. How's your day going? It's good. Trying to stay busy. Yeah. How about you? I'm good. I'm trying to stay as busy as I can. I try to teach online a whole lot. Okay. Got people coming in. This is exciting. I'm going to add the playlist to the chat room just in case people want it. Let's see. Hello, friends. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Austin. Okay. Let's see. Hi. Hi. Is there music for this class? Um, so the music is going uh, to, we don't put music on the Zoom because we're not allowed to. Also, it, it kind mm -hmm. of hard to hear me. So the best thing to do is have my playlist on Spotify. And if you, if you guys want to play it at the same time as me, I, that's why I have my headphones and I'm going to play my playlist in my ears. Um, my playlist under Spotify, my name is Jacqueline Brittany on the playlist. Uh, is called Elevation. And I think they have it on the, the Black Swan Spotify as well, if you haven't been able to find it. Down. Okay, and which one is it called again? It's called Elevation. I'm also gonna say that like 10 more times because I wanna make sure everybody gets a fair chance to hear me. <laughs> Let's see. Anyone else coming in? If you guys have blocks, they might be useful to have one block towards the top of the mat and one block towards the back of the mat. Uh, but it's not necessary. I'm not using blocks today. Welcome, friends. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Emily. What, else hey, what was your Spotify again? My Spotify is Jacqueline Brittany, J A C L Y B R I T T A N Y. And then the name of the playlist is called Elevation. see if we have anyone else coming in. We're probably gonna get started a few minutes late because I like to hold space for everybody. Hey, Allison. Hi. Hi. I get a lot of sun to come into my apartment, so sometimes it's a little blinding in the background. It's like probably one of my favorite features of the apartment and it's a little hard to see on camera though. No problem. Okay. <laughs> What else we got here? I like how people have backgrounds 
that this person has San Francisco Bridge, Golden Gate Bridge. It's great. Okay. What's going on? Happy Monday. <laughs> okay, I got Tina. A few more peeps trickling in. It's so nice to see people's faces. I live by myself, so I barely see people speak into the immune system. Hey, Reza. So I haven't gone to the supermarket, so I don't see people at all. <laughs> this is nice. Okay. Wait a couple more minutes. Let people get settled in. Hey, if you guys want to follow along with the playlist and you didn't hear me, my playlist is called Elevation under my Spotify, Jacqueline Brittany. I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes. If you like to use blocks, we're doing things like half moon today. Um, admit Charlotte's coming in. Okay. Did anyone have trouble signing in? Everyone was good. Okay. So register in advance and then. Okay. Um, Okay, nine, nine, four, nine, four, one, six, 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 seven. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to make sure that everyone is getting in here before we get started. Three, five, five. Hey, I think daddy has some stuff for you. Come down here. Come here, come here. No! Come here, daddy has stuff for you. Can you get the trapped trailer? The little... Hello! How's it going? Okay. So we're gonna get a couple more minutes. Thank you so much for your patience, everybody. If you have blocks and you wanna use them today, they might be super useful for one towards the top of the mat and one towards the back. Since we're gonna use all sides of the mat today. And also, uh, if you wanna follow along on Spotify, you can tune into my playlist under Jacqueline Brittany, J A C L Y N B R I T T A N Y is my my Spotify name, and the playlist is called Elevation. Uh, if everyone could put their phones uh, or laptops, iPads under mute right now, so I could be the only one speaking. And just waiting. No, <laughs> You don't have any kids. All right. Okay. Made it. Yay. What's up? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. If you could all put yourselves on mute, we'll get started momentarily. Yeah. Jeff, the name of the playlist today is called Elevation. If you want to use the playlist to follow along, we're going to get started shortly. Well, it'll be useful to have a block towards the top of the mat and one towards the back if you like to use blocks. Okay. I'm personally not oh. using blocks today. Hey, he can put um, these in here. Did you find the other one? No, I found the other one. Okay, well, I'll watch it. Oh, okay. Oh, 
can I mute? If everyone could mute themselves, I hear somebody. Uh, okay. Doing great. Okay. We're going to get started. Everyone can see my map, right? Doing good. Sweet. Uh, if you have the playlist and you want to follow me, we're going to get started about midway up our mat in easy seat, Sukhasana. So just crisscross applesauce. And if you have a playlist, you can start it now. The first one being wind. And then take a moment to shut down your eyes as you settle into the space. Draw the tailbone down towards the ground. Draw your shoulder blades down your back as you sit up tall through the spine. Feel the crown of the head lifting higher to the sky. Just start to notice your breath moving in and out of the body. Tune out the outside world. Surrender yourself to your practice. Take a soft breath in. And open mouth, let it go. Uh, notice your prana, your light. It's ever flowing, ever growing, and emanating from the inside out. Take a big belly breath in this time. Really fill up the lungs, the rib cage, all the way up to the collarbones and sip in even more air at the top. Open mouth, let something go. Huh. Hold at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale through your nose, the count of four, three, two, one. Hold here at the top. Seal your lips and exhale for four, three, two, one. Again, together, inhale for four, three, two, one. Seal the lips and exhale for four, three, two, one. Continue on your own, creating even breaths in. And even breaths out. As you start to create a meditative space for yourself. Something that makes you smile inside. You can keep your mind's eye here throughout practice today. Even if it wants to wander off or lose control. Inhale, sweep your hands up high to the sky. Shift your gaze on up as you blink. Open your eyes. Exhale, cactus your arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and let your head drop onto the back of your shoulders. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. <sighs> inhale, reach up high to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Draw your left hand outside your right thigh. Right fingertips reach back, back on the mat as you shift the gaze past your right shoulder back. Really lift out the chest. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. <sighs> inhale, reach up high to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. Draw your right hand outside the left thigh. Gaze past your left fingertips back. Lift out the heart, lift out the chest. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. Ha. Inhale, reach up high to the sky. 
Exhale, walk your fingertips forward while you reach your hips back. Then relax your head and neck down towards the mat. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. Ah. Slowly roll up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. And then switch the crossing of your feet, whichever foot was in front, switch it out. Palms face down on top of your knees. Inhale, seated cow, draw your shoulder blades back, gaze up high to the sky. Exhale, seated cat, round the spine, sit back in the hips, chin to chest. Inhale, peel the heart forward through your arms as you draw the shoulder blades back. Exhale, seated cat, draw your belly button towards your spine. Couple more like that. Inhale, reach the heart forward, gaze up high. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Last time, inhale, open up the heart. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, twist to the right. Draw the right hand down towards the ground. This time, plant your right hand into the ground. Reach your left hand up high. Press your hips forward, shift the weight into your knees. As you lift your hips off the mat, press your hips up high. Nice, slowly drop the hips down. Twist on over to the left. Left hand reaches down the ground. Reach that right hand high. Press the hips forward, knees plant down. Press your hips up high. Come back through center. Right hand reaches back, left hand up high. Press the hips forward. Gaze up high. See if you can peel the left shoulder further back this time. Stay here for a nice big inhale. Exhale, sweep it over to the left. Left hand plants down, right hand reaches up and overhead as you pick up the hips. Peel the right shoulder further back. Gaze up high. One more big inhale. Exhale, drop the hips down towards the mat. Come back through center line. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Let your third eye melt down towards the ground. Stay here for a nice big inhale. Then open mouth, exhale. Huh. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, sweep both hands back behind you. Palms plant down on the mat. So spread through the fingertips, shift the weight into the palms. And the knees as you lift the hips, gaze up high. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. One more big inhale. Exhale, sit your hips back down to the mat. Keep your hands down on the ground. Draw your knees into your chest. You're balancing on your sit bones. So sit up tall through the spine. Draw your shoulder blades back. Press your heart forward. Keep on drawing your knees into your chest using the strength of your core. Straighten your legs all the way up to the sky. Keep on drawing your shoulder blades back and draw your knees into your chest. Inhale, kick your heels up high. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest. A couple more times, kick your heels up high, knees into your chest. Kick your heels up high, pause here, see if you can reach your hands up high to the sky. And then reach your hands further back behind you, gazing on up. One more big inhale. Exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Draw your knees into your chest, and then this time your feet out wide. Create a big V shape with your legs. Straddle your legs out wide. Yes. Draw your knees into your chest. Kick the heels up towards the sky. Knees into the chest. Straddle your legs out wide. Keep your heart lifted. Keep on doing this your breath. Knees into your chest. Kick your heels up high to the sky. Knees into your chest. Straddle out your legs out wide. See if you want to play this time with your hands up high in the sky. Knees into your chest. Kick your heels up high. Knees into your chest. Heels out wide. A few more like that. Knees into your chest. Kick your heels up high to the sky. Use the strength of your core. Knees into your chest. Heels out wide this time. Knees into your chest. Kick your heels up high to the sky. Option to hook your peace fingers around your big toes. And kick your heels out to the left and right for that straddle. Bouncing on your sit bones, pressing your heart forward, drawing your shoulder blades back. Nice, one more big inhale. Exhale, roll into your back, rock and roll, forward and back. Hands are underneath the thighs. 
Give yourself a few times to rock and roll. You'll gain so much momentum, you come to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Plant the feet down and hips up high. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, reach your heart forward, reach your hips back. Exhale, fold. Bring your feet out as wide as the mat. Take a gentle bend into your knees and ragdoll. You can grab opposite elbows as you sway side to side. You can shake your head yes and no a few times. Take even more of a bend into the knees than you think you need as you breathe into the low back. In the upper body. Slowly come to stillness. Inhale, halfway lift. Create number seven shape with your body. Exhale, fold. Nicely bend to your knees as you press actively through your feet. Slowly roll up your spine, squeezing your glutes on the way up. Reach your hands all the way up high and grab your left wrist at the top. Inhale. Exhale, lean to the right, pause here. Peel the left shoulder slightly back, gaze over your left armpit up high. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open up, exhale. Ah. Inhale through center, switch to grip, left hand, right wrist. Exhale, lean on over to the left. Pull that right hand out of your right hip. Peel the right shoulder back like you're leaning on the wall behind you. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale, ha. Inhale, reach up high to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms, press your hips forward, curl your tailbone under and gaze up towards the sky. Stay here in your back bend and interlace your fingertips down towards the ground, draw the knuckles down, peel the heart up high. Exhale, hinge the hips, soft bends the knees as the interlaced fingertips come up and overhead. While you're in your forward fold, keep on squeezing the palms together. You can sway side to side for a couple of breaths. You like. More big inhale. Exhale, hands come down towards the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant down the ground. Right foot stays down. Step the left foot as far back as you can with the left knee lifted off the mat. Lizard lunge. Your right knee stacked over your right ankle. Your left heels over your left toes. Keep that left knee lifted and the left hip in line with the right by squeezing your glutes. And then walk, walk your hands out as far out in front of you as you can. Relax the head and neck and keep on reaching that left heel actively back. One more big inhale. And open up, exhale. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. We're doing three chaturanga dips in our lizard lunge. So bend your elbows towards your hips, hover your heart right off the ground, sit into that right hip. Inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, bend your elbows towards your hips. Inhale, straighten your arms. Last time, bend your elbows towards your hips, hold. This time, lower the left knee and untuck the left toes. Keep your left hand down, reach your right hand up towards the sky for an easy twist. Gaze up towards your right fingertips and peel your right shoulder really far back like you're reaching that right hand all the way behind you, really opening up the heart. And then stroke the guitar back, so all the way back, reach the right hand forward and all the way up and around. Do that for a couple of breaths. Make big circles with that right arm reaching all the way back. Really opening up the chest each time. Option to keep doing that or go for a funky monkey, bending into the left knee and reaching back with the right hand for the left foot. If you've got that bind, kick actively into the right hand and still peel your heart open to the sky. Keep on sitting forward and down to the hips. If you have that bind, one more big inhale. And exhale, release. Keep the left hand down, the left knee down. Reach that right hand back up to the sky. Pivot your left toes to the left, support it half moon. Kick your right heel towards the back of your space. So right heel back in line with the right hip. Your right toes are off the mat. Right shoulder is stacked over the left and then reach the right hand towards the front of your space, drawing your right bicep by your right ear. Creating one long line of energy. Big inhale. Exhale, right elbow, right knee, curl it in. 
Inhale, create length. Exhale, right elbow, right knee. Two more like that. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, reach forward, kick back. Exhale, curl it in, hold. Kick yourself in the butt with the right foot and reach back with the right hand behind you. Right hand's on the right ankle, right foot, and then kick actively into that right hand, peeling the right shoulder back. Gaze up high to the sky, big inhale. Exhale, step the right foot to the top of the mat, hit the left toes back. Curl the left toes under, extended pyramid pose, reach the hips up and back. You can always shorten your pyramid, walking that left foot further forward. Inhale, halfway lift, reach the heart forward, reach the hips back. Exhale, let yourself soften. Hips are square towards the front of the space. Couple more breaths. Shift your gaze towards your right foot. Slight bend to the right knee. Draw your left knee behind your right. Coming to flamingo pose. Pick your hands up off the mat, squeezing that right glute. Big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your feet out as wide as the mat. Reach your hands all the way up to the sky. Grab the left wrist to the top. Inhale. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale through center. Switch the grip. Left hand, right wrist. Exhale, lean out over to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, back bend. Interlace the fingertips behind you. Draw the knuckles down towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale, hinge the hips. Interlace the fingertips. Come up and overhead. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the ground. Left foot stays down. Step the right foot all the way back. Lizard lunge. Right knee is lifted off the mat. Squeeze the glutes together so the hips are in line. Walk your hands as far out away from you as you can towards the front of your space. And keep on reaching that right heel actively back at the same time, like you're being stretched in two different directions. One more big inhale. And open mouth exhale. Hands come back underneath the shoulders for your lizard lunge. Three chaturanga dips, bend your elbows towards your hips. Inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, bend your elbows towards your hips. Inhale, straighten your arms. Last time, bend your elbows towards your hips, hold. Lower the right knee and untuck the right toes. Keep the right hand down, easy twist. Send the left hand up towards the sky. Gaze up towards your left fingertips. And then peel that left hand far behind you, opening up the left side of the chest up towards the sky. Then start stroking your cotar back, opening up that left shoulder, creating big circles with that left arm with your own breath. All the way down and around. You have the option to keep doing this or go for a funky monkey by bending into the right knee and reaching back with the left hand for the right foot. If you've got that bind, kick actively into your left hand and keep on pulling your left shoulder back as you gaze up towards the sky. If you have the bind, one more big inhale. Exhale, release the bind, bring that left hand back up to the sky. Support in half moon, pivot your right toes to the right and keep your left shoulder to the back of the space. Left shoulder stacked over right, left hip is over right. Reach the left hand towards the front of your space, creating one long line of energy. Inhale, exhale, left elbow, left knee. Inhale, create length. Exhale, crunch it in. Two more, inhale, extend. Exhale, curl it in. Last time, inhale, extend. Exhale, curl it in, hold. Kick yourself in the butt with the left foot and reach back with the left hand. Kick into your left hand with your left foot. Peel the left shoulder slightly back and turn on that left glute. Or a big inhale. Exhale, step the left foot to the top of the mat and pivot the right toes back. Curl the right toes under, hips up and back. Extend the pyramid pose. Draw the left hip slightly back and the right hip bone slightly forward. Inhale, halfway lift, create length in the spine. Exhale, deep in your fold. Give yourself a few breaths to create length in that left side. 
Keep on pressing that left toe mound actively down. Shift your gaze towards your left toes, soft bend to the left knee as the left foot is heavy. Draw the right knee behind the left for flamingo pose. Use the strength of that left hip, that left glute to peel your hands off the mat as you stay low in the chest. Or big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, step back, high plank and hold. Shoulders over wrists and heels over toes. Really press away the earth. Wrap the insides of the elbows to face forward. Lift your hips in line with your shoulders, shift forward on your tippy toes, inhale. Exhale, lower your belly all the way down to the ground. Untuck your toes. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your heart and tuck your chin into your chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Sit your hips back towards your heels. Knees will come out wide or in towards your chest as you melt your third eye down towards the mat. Know this pose is always accessible to you, even though I might not call for it when you need it most. This is your practice, your time. Do what feels right and good in your body as I'm just here to guide you. Shift forward, tabletop. Tuck your toes and send your hips up high to the sky. Downward facing dog. Give yourself a few breaths to pedal it out, dance it out. If you like to lift one leg and the other. When you're ready, come to your aligning, your inverted V-shape. Hands or shoulder width apart. Biceps in line with your ears as you let your head hang heavy. Press your heart back towards your thighs as you slightly arch the low back up to the sky. Inhale, come onto your tippy toes, gaze forward. Exhale, step up, fly to the top of the mat, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, hands up to the sky. Exhale, tax your arms and back bend. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the mat, step back, high plank, hold there. Really press away the earth. Slight like tuck of the tailbone as you draw your belly button towards your spine. Shift forward, inhale. Exhale, low plank and hold, bend your elbows towards your hips, cover your heart right up the mat. Untuck your toes, up dog, cobra, draw the shoulder blades down your back. Tuck your toes, send your hips up high to the sky, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step off, fly, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, hands up to the sky. Exhale, back bend, open up your heart. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to that. Step back, jump back. Ride the exhale from high to low plank. Inhale, arc up. Exhale, down duck. Even breaths in. And even breaths out. Three-legged dog, sweep that right heel high to the sky. Angle the right toes down and reach that right heel higher. Inhale. Exhale, step your right foot in between your palms, warrior one. Pivot the left heel down towards the ground. Keep your hips square towards the front of the space as you reach your hands up high. Take a moment to settle in. Try to create a 90 angle with that right leg. And wrap the left hip bone slightly forward. Gaze up towards your fingertips and cactus your arms, gazing up high. Interlace your fingertips behind your low back, opening up the heart, big inhale. Exhale, humble warrior, draw your heart to the left of your right back. Interlace fingertips to come up and overhead. Keep on sitting into that right hip. Keep your legs the same, release your hands and walk your hands all the way over to the upper left hand corner of your mat. Past the upper left hand corner of your mat. Keep your legs the same and then keep on sitting your hips back. So you're really breathing into the inside line of that right hip, finding the stability of that right knee. Reach your hands further away from you and gaze underneath you. 
One more big inhale. Exhale, skindasana lunge to the back of the mat. Bend into the left knee. Flex the right toes up towards the sky. Find the length of the spine. Your hands can be down on the ground or a prayer. Try to stack your shoulders over your hips as you draw the tailbone down. One more big inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. So left hand plants down on the ground. Right toes, pivot down and reach the right hand up and overhead. Create a 45 degree angle on that right side. Peel the right shoulder slightly back. Gaze up high. Keep the length in that right side. Reach the left hand off the mat to meet the right. You're reaching both hands towards the back of your space. Draw your right hand to your left wrist. Reverse your warrior, reaching that left hand up and back. So left heel is still intersecting the right foot. Keep the bend into the left knee. Keep on reaching that left hand out of your left hip. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, reverse triangle, straighten the left leg. Keep on reaching that left hand back. One more big inhale. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. Shift your hips to the right. Left hand down and right hand up to the sky. Keep on pressing actively through your feet. Stacking the right shoulder over the left. Can you tuck that left hip underneath the right? Press actively through your feet. Reach all the way up to the sky, head over heart, over hips. Star pose, feet out wide, toes out wide, inhale. Exhale, goddess, knees and toes face out to left and right. Create 40, <laughs> 493 angles. So draw your knees towards your pinky toes, not inward. Open up those hips. More big inhale. Exhale, hands come on top of the thighs. Keep your legs how they are. Just press away your thighs with your hands straight in your arms like you can lift your shoulders out of your hips. Even though you're sitting into those hips in line with the knees. Big inhale. Exhale, drop the right shoulder and the right ear down. Inhale through center. Exhale, left shoulder and left ear. Inhale through center. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Ah, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lizard lunge to the right towards the front of your mat. Hands are to the left of your right foot. Shift the gaze forward, weight forward, malasana squat, top of the mat. Step the left foot outside, left palm, and drop the hips down. Sit up tall through the spine. Right hand comes outside the right shin, reach that left hand high. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, seek the left hand in front of the left shin. Inhale, right hand high. Exhale, forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, jump back, curl back. Make your way back to down dog. You can always just step right back. <sighs> Inhale, left heel high, three-legged duck. Keep on pressing your heart actively back towards the right thigh as you reach that left heel higher. Exhale, step the left foot through your palms. Pivot the right heel down. Warrior one, inhale, palms rise up high in the sky. Take a moment to settle in. Wrapping that right hip forward, left budgie back. Gaze up high, cactus your arms and open up your heart. Interlace the fingertips behind your low back. Draw the knuckles down the right thigh and gaze up high, inhale. Exhale, humble warrior to the right of your left thigh. Keep on pressing actively through your feet and still find length in the spine. So, so reaching the heart forward even though your gaze is back. Keep on sitting into that left hip. One more big inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat and walk your hands all the way over towards the upper right hand corner of your space. So keep your legs how they are, but sit back in the hips. So you're drawing that left knee towards the left pinky toe behind you. You should feel something happening in that left hip crease. Relax the head and neck. Walk your hands further away from you. One more big inhale. 
Exhale, skin down lunge, back of the mat. Bend into the right knee, flex the left toes up towards the sky. Draw the left heel into the ground. Draw the tailbone down and sit up tall through the spine. Hands can be down on the ground at prayer up high. One more big inhale. Exhale, find your extended side angle with the right hand down and the left hand reaching up and overhead towards the back of your mat. So left foot is parallel towards the front of your mat. Creating a 90 degree angle in that right leg. Reach the left hand up and overhead. Create length in that left side. Right hand comes off of the mat and you're reaching both hands in the same direction. They're parallel. Yes. Draw your left hand to your right lip, wrist. Keep your legs how they are. Reverse your warrior. Reach that right hand up and back. So you're using that left hand to peel the right hand out of the right hip. Keep the bend into that right knee, creating more length in that right side. More big inhale. Exhale, reverse triangle. Straighten the right leg. Keep on reaching that right hand back. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, triangle pose. Hips to the left, right hand down, and left hand up to the sky. Tucking the tailbone under as you're leaning back in the chest. Press actively through your feet, squeezing your thighs, bringing both hands all the way up to the sky. Star pose, feet out wide, toes out wide to the left and right. Superstars, inhale. Exhale, gotta squat, sit low, bend the elbows. Nice, inhale, star, star pose, squeeze your thighs, hands out wide. Exhale, star pose, ha. One more time. Inhale, reach out wide. Exhale, gotta squat, ha. Nice, forward fold. Feet come parallel to the front and back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lizard lunge, top of the mat. Hands come to the right of the left foot. Nice, guys. Shift the gaze forward, weight forward. Malasa squat, top of the mat. Right foot steps outside the left as you drop the hips on down. <sighs> right hand from the right shin. Inhale, left hand up to the sky. Exhale, left hand from the left shin. Inhale, right hand high. Exhale, forward fold to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crawl back, jump back, step back. Make your way back to down dog. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step up, fly from the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach rise, hands up to the sky. Exhale, back bending, open up your heart. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the mat, step back, jump back. High to low, you flow, you grow. Nice, guys. Let's build onto our flow. Inhale, right heel high to the sky. Exhale, step it through, warrior one. Inhale, hands rise on up. Exhale, catch the arms and interlace the fingertips behind your low back. Inhale, gaze up high. Exhale, humble warrior to the left of the right thigh. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, cartwheel your arms open. Straight to skin down, so lunge at the back of the mat. Bend into the left knee and straighten your right leg. Straight to extended side angle. Left hand down, reach that right hand up and overhead. Listen for the change this time. We're planting our left hand into the ground, shifting the weight into the left foot, and the, the left hand and the right foot, drawing the left knee up into our left armpit. Yes. We've got two side plank variations. Right hand comes down, we're switching it so the left hip will now stack over the right. Yes. Option to bring that left hand high, try to lift the hips in line with the shoulders. Option also to reach back with your left hand for your left foot. Ha. Ah. So left to the stack over the right, big inhale. Exhale, step the left foot to the top of your mat. So hands are framing your left foot in your runner's lunge. Gaze out in front of you and we fly, warrior three, kick that right heel back. Create a capital T with your body. 
Nice, guys. Squeeze that right glute. Slight up dog in the chest. Our big inhale. Exhale, rise on up, right knee into the chest. Figure four chair. Hook the right ankle over the left thigh. And sit in the hips. Flex actively through that right foot. One more big inhale. Exhale, we're going to do a curtsy off to the left. So right foot steps off the mat, bend to both knees. Ground out to the left foot. Draw the right knee high to your chest. Curtsy off to the left. Single leg to dasana, right knee high to the chest. One more time. Curtsy off to the left. Right knee high to your chest, hold. Flamingo pose. You're gonna tuck that right knee behind the left and hover your heart right off your left thigh, squeezing that left glute, squeezing your thigh. It's okay if your hands come down to the ground at any time. We're coming from here, twisting to the right. Trying to tap that left elbow to the left knee. Half moon, left hand down, kick the right heel back. Take your time setting yourself up. Your left hand can be down on the block or a mat. Stacking the right hip over the left and the right shoulder over the left. You can reach that right hand up high or go for a bind, reaching your right hand back for your right foot. One more big inhale. Exhale, step your right foot all the way back. Coming straight to reverse warrior. Reach that left hand up and back. Great length in the left side. Big inhale. Exhale, curl your hands down to the mat to frame your left foot. Three like a dog. Left heel reaches up and back. Bend the left knee and stack the left hip over the right. Option to stay here or flip your dog, stepping the left foot all the way behind you, opening up your heart to the sky. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, left hand down to the ground. Draw your left knee to your left elbow and bend your elbows just a little bit. Inhale, three-legged dog, left heel up towards the sky. Left knee, left elbow, give it a tap. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. You can stay here bending your elbows or fly if that's in your practice. Taking your left heel out to left and reaching that right heel back. Lizard lunge, step your left foot outside your left palm. Shift your gaze forward, weight forward, malasana squat. Sit down in the hips. Woo, are we breathing? Big, big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Journey high to low. You flow, you grow. Make your way back to down dog. Whew. Okay, guys. Second set. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, step it through. Warrior one. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, catch the arms, open up the heart. Draw the knuckles down the right thigh, inhale. Exhale, humble warrior to the right or left thigh. Stay here for a nice big inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Inhale, cartwheel open, skin down to lunge, bend to the right knee and straighten the left leg. Extended side angle. Right hand down, pivot the left toes down as the left hand reaches up and overhead. Again, you're really pressing into that left foot and the right palm, so you can lift the right foot off the mat. Try to tap the right knee into the right tricep. From one side, plank to the other, left hand down. Stack the right hip over the left. Yes. Try to lift the hips in line with the shoulders. Option to reach back with your right foot with your right hand. Yes. Stay here for a big inhale. Exhale, step the right foot to the top of the mat, runner's lunge. Huh. Ground down to that right foot, fly forward, warrior three, create a capital T. Reach that left heel actively back. Warrior three, squeeze that left glute, one more big inhale. Exhale, rise on up with the left knee into your chest for figure four chair. Hooking the left ankle over the right thigh. Sit low. Breathe. 
Killing it, guys. Keep lifting through the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale, rise, left knee to the chest, hands up high to the sky, single leg to Dasana. Inhale. Exhale, curtsy off to the right. Left knee to the chest, stand up tall. Curtsy off to the right. One more time, left knee to the chest. Hold here. This time we're going to that flamingo pose, tucking the left knee behind the right. Squeezing your thighs, hands to come to prayer. Hovering your heart right off that right thigh. Woo! We're this time twisting to the left, trying to tap our right elbow to our right knee. Half moon, right hand down. Take that left heel back. Reach your left hand up towards the sky. Or if you'd like to go for that half line, you kick yourself in the butt, the left foot, and reach back with the left hand. One more big inhale. Exhale, slowly step your left to the back and that straight to reverse for you. Keep the bend into that right knee. Reach the right hand up and back. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, curl your hands, top of the mat. Three-legged dog, right heel reaches up and back. Bend the right knee, stack the right hip over the left. Option to stay here or flip your dog. Slowly stepping the right foot behind you. Opening up your heart to the sky. If you're in your flip dog, one more big inhale. And exhale, right hand comes down. Right heel high to the sky. Right knee, right elbow, give it a tap so you can bend your elbows for a little chatter on the dip. Two more like that. Inhale, right heel high. Right knee towards the right tricep. Bend the elbows. One more time. Right heel high. See if you can fly this time, trying to stack the right thigh over the right tricep and kicking that left heel back. When you're ready, make your way to lizard lunge. Right foot's planting to the right of the right hand. Step your left foot outside your left palm. Pull out the spot, top of the mat. Whew, how's everyone doing? Good? Sweet. Okay. So we're gonna play a little bit with inversion and mobility. So you can choose to stay here in Malasana squat or take a seat. Uh, what I want you to do if you want to play with hip mobility and if it allows you with your knees, what we're going to do is come onto our right tippy toes and then try to dip the right knee down and come back to the center. And you can just do that side to side, coming onto the left tippy toes, dipping the left knee down, coming back to the center. Swing side to side. Okay, forward fold, top of the mat. Ha. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bear squat. So it's a little bit different than a molasses squat, but you're dropping your hips in line with your knees. And then I want everyone to see that I want everyone to reach your hands forward and reach your hips back. We're gonna be doing little frog hops. So reach your hands forward, keep your knees high into your chest and try to kick yourself in the butt. So it's a little seesaw back and forth. We're only doing this a little bit more. It's the last of heating up our body before we get to stretch. So five, keep it going. Four, three, Two, one, nice. Sit all the way down to the mat. Sit down, bring your legs out wide, straddle pose. Flex your toes up towards the sky. Walk your hands over to the right to frame your right leg, and then try to melt your heart on top of the right thigh. So it's a little twist to the right. One more big inhale. And open up, exhale. Just switch outside. 
Bring your hands to frame the left foot. Reach your heart towards your left toes. And then twist on over to the left. Trying to tap your whole flat chest on top of your left thigh. One more big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. Ha. So lace it up tall through the spine. And just like the beginning of class, we're gonna walk our right hand back, dig your heels into the mat, dig those heels down to the ground, reach your left hand up to the sky. You're shifting the weight into the right palm, tucking your tailbone under, and trying to lift your hips off the mat as you reach that left hand back. Yes, and then drop the hips down. Do that to the other side. Reach the left hand back, shift the weight into the left palm, reach your right hand up and overhead. Dig your heels into the mat to lift your hips on up. Do that one more time on each side. Right hand reaches back, left hand up and overhead. Nice, drop the hips. Left hand reaches back, right hand up and overhead. Nice, slowly drop the hips back down. <sighs> Butterfly, bottom of the feet come to meet, knees out wide. <sighs> Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, fold your heart on top of your butterfly. Let your head hang heavy. Breathe into that low back. One more big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. Uh, slowly roll up the spine. You're gonna keep your right shin facing forward. You're gonna draw your left knee forward and your left toes back. Think deer pose. So try to bring the right shin parallel towards the front of the mat and kicking that left foot back. Left knee forward, right shin parallel, left foot back. Cool. Now you're gonna pretend that you're flying over your right thigh, so reaching your hands back, reaching your heart forward, and try to stay low in the chest. I want you to switch out the crossing of your legs as you Switch towards the back of the mat. So the left knee will come out to the left, the left shin will be parallel to the back of your mat as you're reaching the heart forward. Do that again. Keep the heart low. Reach your heart past that right shin. A few more times. Keep the heart low, switch out the knees. Reach your heart towards the back of your mat. Your left knee's out to the left, your right foot is back. One more time, come towards the front. Stay low in the chest, and then rise on up. Nice, guys. Okay, so keep that right foot, right leg where it is, and then you want to hug your left shin in towards your chest like you're rocking a baby. So left foot comes into the right elbow crease, and you're drawing the left knee up in towards your left armpit. So you're hugging the left shin into your chest and pressing your heart forward and your shoulder blades back. And then I want you to sway side to side with that left leg like you're rocking a baby. Okay, if this is a whole lot for you, you can stay here. Option for the next thing is to sweep the left leg over the left shoulder. So you're trying to draw the left knee over your left shoulder and plant your left hand right by your left butt cheek, right by your left hip. Your right hand will stay on your left ankle. Now you have the option to stay here or straighten your left leg up towards the sky for compass pose. Nice. If you have compass pose, maybe you just want to play with elephant trunk for one breath. So you plant your hands into the mat, still hooking that left leg over your left shoulder and kicking your right foot forward. So we're trying to pick up everything off of the mat. It looks like an elephant trunk. Hooking the left leg over the left shoulder, kicking your right foot forward. See if you can press your hands into the mat and lift your hips off the mat. Just for one breath. Oh, and then lower it down. Okay, we're gonna switch out sides. So come to that deer pose again, this time starting with the left shin forward, kicking the right heel back. And I want you to reach your hands back and fly your heart forward like you're trying to bring your heart parallel towards the front of the mat. So you should really feel this in your left hip flexor. 
And then slowly, you're going to keep low in the chest and then switch towards the back of your mat. So the right shin will come toward, parallel towards the back of the mat and the left knee down. We're going to do that again on each side. Switch the knees, cover the heart over the left shin. Switch the knees towards the back of the mat. Cover your heart over the right shin. Okay, come back towards the front of the mat. Sit up tall through the spine. And now we're going to rock the baby with that right leg this time. So your right foot will come into the left elbow crease. The right knee into your right elbow crease. And you're trying to hug that left foot in towards your left armpit. And the right knee in towards your right armpit. Pressing your heart forward, drawing your shoulder blades back. And just sway side to side a little bit. Rocking that right hip side to side. Okay, guys, if this is where you want to stay, this is a lot. It always feels different from one side to the other. You can stay here, or you want to try to crawl your right shoulder underneath your right leg. So you're trying to hook the right leg on top of your right shoulder. So your right shoulder will come into the right knee crease. Then you're going to press your right hand into the ground to find a lift in your chest. Draw your left hand towards your right ankle. And if you want to stay here, this is a lot. Still trying to lift through the chest and press the hips down. Or you can straighten that right leg up and overhead and peel the left shoulder slightly back for your compass pose. Give yourself a few breaths to feel what you're feeling. You can stay here or take a very that suits you, or you can play with that elephant trunk like me. So hooking that right knee over the right shoulder, planting both hands into the ground, and spreading through the palms. Kicking the left heel forward, so straight left leg. Right leg is hooked over the right shoulder. Press into the earth and see if you can lift everything off the mat. Just for a couple of reps. Ugh, and then slowly lower down. Nice, guys. Let's make our way into our backs. We're gonna come towards either waterfall, kicking your heels up high to the sky, or if you have a supported shoulder stand or shoulder stand in your practice, you'll dig the backs of your triceps into the mat and using your fingertips, support your low back. You can also take an inversion of your choice or come to plow pose if that's in your practice, reaching your feet up and overhead. Slowly lower your spine down towards the ground, one vertebrae at a time, and end up with your knees into your chest. Happy baby pose, draw your knees out wide, sweep your arms to your inner thighs. And you can draw your hands towards the outside edges of your feet. You can play, play with straightening one leg and the other. Maybe you're feeling that straddle even more here as you press your low backs and get to the mat, letting your head soften into the ground. A couple more breaths as you breathe into those inner thighs. And then again, bring both knees into your chest. Have both feet come down towards the mat. We're gonna get a nice deep twist here. So creating eagle legs by hooking the right thigh over the left first, or you can pretend that you're going towards high T. Option is stay there or, or hook your right toes behind your left calf. And then you can bring your arms out wide with the palms facing down. As you anchor your shoulders down, bring both knees all the way over to the left. It's a nice deep twist as you shift your gaze to the right. So we've got eagle wrap legs for our twist. 
Bring our knees to the left and the gaze to the right. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. Uh, and then slowly switch out sides. First, you can unravel your legs through center. And then hook the left thigh over the right. For your eagle rack legs, you can hook those left toes behind the right calf before you sway both knees all the way over to the right. And shift your gaze to the left. Stay for another big inhale. And open up, exhale. Huh. Slowly come back through center, unravel your legs. Draw your knees into your chest and draw your nose to your knees. Picking your head, your neck, your shoulders off the mat. Inhale, squeeze everything as tight as you can. Exhale, extend your feet forward and let your arms rest by your side. Shavasana pose, shut down your eyes. Let go of the physical practice. You connect with your breath. You're welcome to stay in this posture as long as you like. If you'd like to follow me, take a soft breath in. And open mouth, let it go. Huh. Bigger inhale this time, really big breath in, fill up the lungs, the rib cage, and dip in even more air at the top, hold it there. Open mouth, let something go. Huh. Soft sensations into the fingers, toes, muscles, and bones. Then reach your hands towards the back of your space as you extend your feet forward for one last stretch. Inhale, fill up with breath as one long line of energy. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest. And roll on over to the right using your right bicep as a pillow in the fetal position. As you cradle your head and your heart, we connect to the meditative space that you created. Something that makes you smile inside. So you can keep your mind's eye here, even off of the mat, when things in life seem to spin out of control. You can always make your way back to the stillness. Using your hands and whatever you need, slowly rise on up to a seat. As you feel the ground supporting you at this time, leaving your impurities and insecurities behind. Stacking the heart over the hips, your palms face upward on top of your thighs. Receptive to all the energy that you created here today. Take a moment to breathe it in. And open mouth, let it go. 
Sweep your hands out wide and high, collecting all the positivity you created as they touch overhead. Stir your thumbs through third eye, Ajna, the seat of wisdom. Through your lips, Vasuda, may they always speak peace. And through heart center, Anahata. May the love and light within you always be unstruck as the same love and light that resonates and reflects within me. Namaste. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Reza. Thank you, John. Thank you, Kenji. Thank you, Steph. Woo! Hey, guys, I'm always here if you ever want to message me. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, MK. Um, feel free to message me. Like, if you find it easier to not be on social media, I'll, I'll even give you my phone number. I understand at this time it becomes, like, really confusing. Hey, Charlotte. I want you guys to know I'm, like, here. I really love the company to talk to people about yoga or anything. So feel free. If you want to message me here and you'd rather be on like a telephone rather than a computer or social media. Um, hi, Austin. I'm totally hi. here to connect. Okay. Okay. Thank hi, you, Austin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Feel free to reach out, feedback, anything at all. Stephanie was in here today. If you haven't taken her class, she's a badass. I'm sure most of you have, but okay. Enjoy the rest of your week. Um, feel free to, there's a little ch chat here if you want um, to rather be on like a cell phone or something and you want to message me. Bye, Anne. Uh, bye, Catherine. Feel free to message me at any time, okay? Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, Reza. Thank you for joining in. Bye.